What's up, fellas? Welcome back to Effortless Gent. Today, I thought we'd talk about everyday carry. Basically, your EDC, what you have on you every single day. I'm gonna show you what I carry with me, whether I'm just stepping out for a little bit or I'm gonna be gone the whole day. All right, so like I mentioned earlier, an EDC or everyday carry is essentially the stuff that you have with you on a daily basis, whether that's in your jacket pockets or your pants pockets, maybe you carry a bag with you. It's the stuff that you always bring with you no matter what, whenever you leave the house. Everyday carries or EDCs are sort of like a movement. There are blog posts and tumblers and whole blogs and even whole videos dedicated to what people carry with them on an everyday basis. People love showing what they carry day to day and I think other people like seeing what others carry as well. So today in this video, I'm gonna show you what I bring with me on a daily basis. Now, this might not be the same exact stuff that you carry and that's the whole point. Like this very much like style or wardrobes are very personal. It's all about what you need and what you realize that you use throughout the day. So. Even if I carry something that you don't necessarily carry or vice versa, nothing wrong with that. I'm just here to show you what I carry and maybe that'll inspire you to maybe think about uh, what you might need throughout the day as well. I also am not doing like a work day thing because I feel like what I pack in my um, bag when I go to do work, let's say at a coffee shop or uh, remotely, uh, my packing is a little bit different because I do have a bag. So this is strictly a really minimal everyday carry, what I just carry on my person. That is what I'm gonna show you today. So as I'm getting ready to step out the door, the first thing I go to grab is my wallet. I always have this big fear that I'm going to forget my wallet and I really hate leaving the house without my ID, without my credit cards. It's just really tough to do anything. I do have a few wallets that I like to cycle through. Sometimes I might change them here and there depending on where I'm going, but really I tend to stick to one for a long period of time. The wallet I've been using for the past few weeks is from Rogue Industries and it's a front pocket wallet. And mine is actually made out of moose leather. There are a few things that I like about this wallet. One is that it's kind of a unique design. There's a, it's squared off on one end and then on the other end it's curved it's designed to fit in your front pocket. Now, I don't know about you, but I live in New York City and sometimes I just feel a little bit conscious about my stuff. I'm always thinking like, there are pickpockets out there. Uh, things can happen if you're not paying attention. So what I do like about this wallet specifically is that it's designed to fit perfectly in my front pocket and I don't have to think too much about it. So that's just a little tip for you guys. If you're in a big city or if you're traveling somewhere that's really crowded, make sure to keep your wallet uh, in the front pocket because I feel like that just feels a little bit more safe and you're a little bit more conscious. Another cool feature about this wallet is that it is RFID enabled, which means that if there's someone with a scanner nearby trying to scan some of your information off of your cards. It doesn't allow them to do that. I don't know how big of a problem that is here in the US, but I do like the added security uh, in case that is something that people are doing nowadays. I know especially in other countries that happens a lot and I wouldn't be surprised if that's happening in bigger cities like the one I live in. So it's just an added layer of protection that makes me feel better about having a wallet with my cards super safe that isn't as easy to scan as like some other regular wallet might be. The third thing I really like about this wallet is because it's in my front pocket, I really want it to be slim. I want all my wallets to be slim. And what I like about this one especially is that there is a billfold, so I can keep some bills in there. I don't carry too much cash, but if I have like a 20 or something, I can keep it in there. And on top of that, there are still one, two, three, four, five, six card slots while still maintaining a really slim profile and the ability to put it in my front pocket because it's designed with that curved end so it fits nicely in there. Anyway, so wallets are the first thing that I grab from my little valet when I'm heading out the door. This one happens to be from Rogue Industries. Uh, I encourage you to go check them out. I think their wallets are really great and they are sponsoring this video, so thank you to Rogue Industries uh, for being a part of this video and uh, make sure to go check them out. I will link to them in the description box below. So along with my wallet, the second thing I hate when I forget is my phone. That might, that might actually be worse than forgetting my wallet, actually. I hate when I leave my phone at home because I, it's, I'm tethered to that thing. I use it for everything from directions to contacting the people I'm gonna meet, things like that, and I'm sure you're the same way. So I always make sure to carry my phone with me. I keep it by the door. If I know I'm heading out soon, I'm kind of in a rush just so I don't forget it. So this is the iPhone 6S Plus. Yes, it's a few years old, but surprisingly it hasn't died on me yet. Uh, it's performing really well and I don't feel a need to replace it just yet. So I am sticking with this guy until it dies or until I can no longer use it. So I'm sticking with the classic iPhone 6S Plus for now with the 
apple leather case, which has patinaed quite nicely. All right, so keys. I never forget my keys because I have to lock my door, but they are one of the things that I do carry on me every single day. I keep my three most important keys on this leather key fob. It is a natural colored leather, uh, so it's not dyed or anything. It will patina over time. Uh, and this is actually from a brand called Native Lore, which is a local brand here in New York City. Uh, what I like about this key fob is that I can stick it on my belt loop and then the other end with my keys on it, I can slip it into my pocket and you won't see it. It's kind of just a uh, little peep of leather that you might see, but honestly, that doesn't bother me at all. You might also notice that a lot of my leathers are different colors. They're at like different stages of their patina. and. I don't know, I kind of like that. I like the fact that I have a lot of leathers that are of different ages and have aged all differently. And I just think that's really cool looking. So, you know, that might not be your cup of tea and that's totally fine. Maybe you want all of your leathers to match perfectly. For me, I like having a little bit of wear and tear on my stuff. It shows that I've owned it for a long time, that I care for it, that it lasts, things like that. So you might notice that my leathers are different colors, but that's the reason why. So the third thing I grab typically after my phone, after my wallet is my watch. I feel really naked without having um, my watch on my wrist at the very least. I do like having a watch. I guess some people would say that it's a little bit old school. Why do you need a watch? Because you have your phone. I think a nice watch is really all a man needs to accessorize at the very minimum, right? Um, so this is a standard steel date just, uh, reference 16030. I love the black dial on this watch. It's a really simple watch. You can easily dress it up. Um, but I do wear it with jeans a lot and I think it's a great watch overall. Alternatively, I do have my other favorite watch was like a Seiko. It's a Seiko Titanium Perpetual Calendar. It's like 25, 20 or 25 years old. It's, it's a really old watch, uh, but I've had it for a long time and it's a really lightweight watch. And I like the Perpetual Calendar feature because I don't have to set the date every time uh, months change from 30 to 31 days or from 28 days in February to you know 30 or 31 days the next month. So. I like that this watch uh, keeps track of those days and how the days skip. The only accessories that I have on my wrist other than my watch are this wooden beaded bracelet and this like ID tag leather strap bracelet. I've had both of these for a few years, so um, there is a nice patina on them. I think for accessories, the minimal route is probably best, maybe one to three at most, especially if um, they're really minimal, then I think it's okay to wear three. But I've seen a lot of guys like just stack a ton of bracelets on their wrist. I don't know if that's really necessary if you wanna go sort of the elegant route. Um, you don't have to have that many. I think you can just stick with one to three and that'll look really cool as is. Um, I'm gonna link to a few of my favorites below. You can check those out and see if you like them as well. All right, on to more pocket stuff. Now I always carry a hanky with me every single day. Even if I'm not wearing a sport coat with a, a pocket square in it, I like to carry a cotton hanky. That's because I always find myself in positions where I need to like wipe something down <laughs> or like dry something. Like have you ever been in a public restroom where you wash your hands and then you go to grab some paper towels and you realize that there is none and you're like screwed because now you have wet hands so you have to like wipe them on your pants or like on the guy next to you. So um, I typically don't like to do that too often. So I bring a hanky with me just in case for those situations. Sometimes I'm running around, it's hot outside, I need to wipe my brow, things like that. So you'll always find a use for a handkerchief. Make sure to keep one in your back pocket. It can be a standard square uh, made out of cotton. Uh, you might have like summer pocket squares that you don't use anymore that are made out of that cotton or linen material. You can throw that in your pocket and it's perfect. I also like to have a tin of mints with me wherever I go. You can always pop those in and like let them melt on your tongue and you'll always have fresh breath. I think a lip balm is crucial, especially, I was gonna say especially in the winter months when your lips and skin gets dry, but honestly, even in the summertime when there's, uh, when the sun's beating down on you, you want something with a little bit of SPF, make sure your lip balm has SPF. That's gonna help save your lips from being sunburned or peeling, whatever. Uh, I always carry lip balm with me because I don't like when my lips feel all dry. They're probably dry right now. Mm. These are the three things that I keep in my pockets at all times. It's a hanky, a pack of mints, and also a uh, lip balm. A signature fragrance. I put this in my EDC, my everyday carry, but honestly, I don't 
carry it with me <laughs> everywhere I go, but I do spray a couple sprays before I leave the house, typically on my pulse points, so somewhere on my neck, usually the back of my neck as well. Sometimes scents tend to fade faster than others, and this is kind of where you have to test your fragrances to see which ones last or which ones are really strong or powerful versus ones that kind of fade away. So if I have a fragrance that tends to fade away, I will spray a little bit more uh, in the morning so it lasts longer throughout the day. But if I have one that's really strong and fragrant and lasts a long time, I will only do maybe one to two. Now I take my standard Apple white earbuds everywhere I go. If I need to, I don't know, kind of zone out or if I'm walking around the streets of New York City and I don't want to listen to construction or traffic noise uh, and I'm just taking a nice peaceful walk, I would pop those earbuds in and I can just listen to music or maybe I need to take a call, things like that. I always carry a pair of headphones with me wherever I go. All right, next up, a pair of sunglasses. I don't keep this in my pockets, really. They usually they're hanging right here in front of my shirt. Sometimes it's in my shirt pocket, but I do always need a pair of sunglasses with me. I can't really walk around the streets without them. I'm so used to them at this point. Uh, when there's like wind gusts hitting my face or like dirt from constructions flying on me, I need like sunglasses to protect my eyes. And I just feel better about having, you know, shades to kind of, you know, keep my eyes protected from the sun. So sunglasses are a must when I leave the house. All right, fellas, that's all I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. That is what I carry on me every single day. Thanks again to our friends at Rogue Industries for sponsoring this video. You guys have to check out their wallets. They're incredible. Mine is made out of moose leather. I've never had a wallet made from moose leather before. So I think that's really cool. Check out the front pocket wallets. There are so many different kinds. What I like, like I said about these are that they fit really nicely in your front pocket. So you don't have to like feel all awkward in there. There's no like sharp, angles or corners. It fits in there perfectly. So go ahead and check out Rogue Industries. I'm going to drop a link in the description box below so you can take a look and tell them I said what's up. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Cool. I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.